The transition from the back of the ring to the middle is one of the trickiest things. What's one of our favorite drills to teach you how to get from the back of the ring into the power position as fast as possible and keep your middle delivery leg moving fast and powerfully and accelerating? We're gonna talk about it in this video, check it out. Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation and in today's YouTube video what we're going to talk about is a little simple drill for the rotational shot to help you start throwing a lot better a lot faster. Now one of the key things that we have to talk about in the rotational shot kind of our core drills some people teach when you come off the left you you pull the left right and I agree with that and some people say when you come off the left push off the left and that helps you get your foot down faster, which I agree with as well. So what's one of my favorite drills for the rotational throws? It's the push-pull drill. And so what we're doing is, is we're consciously setting up the position and we have to set up our alignment. And so we're gonna push and we're gonna pull it into position and that's gonna help me stay on top. Notice the double load in the leg. I'm here, which is gonna allow me to rotate around and then when I lift, if I'm going to be elevating through the finish, I have to have my hips elevated so they elevate this way into the throw, not just hitting here and going straight up. And you can see my hips are now facing outside the sector. And once I go vertical, they're no longer rotating into the throw. So again, I'm gonna throw in this direction. You kind of look at it from this angle. So when I'm pushing here, one of the key things is to set our alignment. And when we set, we're going to push and we're going to pull and we're gonna be, see, we're gonna see how our separations there so one of the things is we wind we're gonna be feeling our arms stretch we're gonna watch the shoulder position hold and then we're gonna be driving in you have to hold to create the rewrap and we want to keep acceleration moving so what we tend to teach in the throwing chain reaction also is that the left side is where we're thinking about the rewrap not so much of like trying to keep the shot back don't do that think about how the left side is going to be delaying to allow the lower body to continue to move ahead. So again, the push, pull, you're gonna notice how that creates rotation. So when I push and I pull, and notice how I'm pulling it, I pull it behind the knee. One of the things we again teach, we go through a sequence that leads up into this full drill. Again, here I'll throw in this direction. So if I'm here, you're gonna notice that the knee comes behind so that's one of the things we're doing we're getting the knee to come in this position so that's going to go down there you're going to notice that one of the three key things to set up in that drill is the alignment of the drill it's essentially a dia diagonal line from where the foot is here right to be where it is here see how it came across this line it almost looks like an inverted seven the two feet is the top of the seven the seven goes down here so the left is there and the power position foot is here again you'll notice when i push and i pull I'm trying to keep this back. One of the key things we'll talk about is don't finish the throw. We wanna feel the push, pull, and notice how that rotates. And when I push and pull, notice where the position is and how I'm creating the angle of my upper body. My chest sits over my knee. So again, if I'm here, you're gonna watch me kinda of here. You're gonna see that position as I wind. I set up properly the position of my hips, the tension, the separation, where the arm goes. And you're gonna see, again, how I'm stacked up, where the block foot comes down. I'm heel toe, and I'm gonna be able to drive into the finish. So the key is you wanna be focusing on the lower body. This is a lower body dominant drill. It teaches that transition, as we refer to, from three, four, and five. That's the whole middle connection of the throw. And it's a pillar connection drill, because we're starting in pillar three when we start this drill and we're finishing in five it's a pillar connection drill because we're working on all three components and from there we will look at what specific position movements from pillar three four and five also need work and that's how we tie that into our one plus ten formula that we talk about in another video hopefully you like that drill it's a good simple drill that's effective that should help you start developing your ability to rotate and accelerate into the middle remember combine that look at the wide sweep check out our video on why the wide rotational sweep is so critical and how that makes a massive difference to how to rotate your foot. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment below on anything else you'd like to see, and we will see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.